Now that you've gotten the filing and the service and notice out of the way, uh, you're coming to really the most important part of this process, which is negotiating an agreement, if, if that's where this case is going to end up, is, is an agreement. There's a lot to go over and there's a lot to do uh, when you're negotiating and you really have to think about it as how are you going to get to the end, which is an agreement. You can't get to an agreement unless you both agree. So what's the best way to get there? Um, I think the first decision you have to make is are you going to take the lead or is the other side going to take the lead? and make the first offer. Um, usually the first rule of negotiation is let the other side make the first offer because who knows what they're going to concede to you. And that makes a lot of sense in these cases. Um, so you might ask the other side, what, how do they want this to look? Uh, that also makes them feel like you care about what, they're, what they want. And again, their priorities may be some things that are not that important to you and you may be able to find some, some common ground. Um, so I'd start with that. If on the other hand, if the other side doesn't want this to happen, you may be the one that needs to take the initiative and send them something to get the ball rolling. Try to focus on figuring out what they want so that you can give an agreement to them that they are happy with. Again, some people, the most important thing may be the amount of child support. For other people, on the other side, that may not even matter. What they're, what's important to them is time with the child. So they're, you might be able to come up with an agreement then that, that both of you can live with. I think if you're dealing with a case that involves children, you also need to deal exactly with that child support issue up front. I've seen so many of these type of negotiations just get everything taken care of and then people don't agree on child support and you might as well have not gone through that. So try to figure out if you have a basic agreement about that if you have children. Uh, the next step I think in the negotiation is once you think you have a broad agreement, let's get over to the other side a written proposal so they can see if that's really what they're thinking it is.